We are back in Bulgaria and though it's still warm here, you can sense the autumn in the air. Some leaves are falling, some are turning yellow and temperatures are slowly going down. I've still got a plenty of videos from our visit to Robin Hood's Bay in July and August and I can but share it with you. Today's video is dedicated to the Robin Hood Bay beach. I absolutely love walking at the beach and I quite like when it's full of people. My husband, as a true local, says he doesn't like when tourists fill the streets of the village. But for me, a person who's into photography and observing, it's pleasure. Never mind taking photos and videos, I like it when people are around. But I prefer the balance, of course. As I grew up in a big city, but most of my life lived in a residential area right next to the forest, I need to keep the balance between spending time among people and on my own with nature. Too much of shallow communication, sort of small talk, and too much time on my own or without a change of scenery isn't good for me. I have friends who live in a remote village and feel fine about it. It's their choice and that's what makes them feel comfortable and happy. At the moment I'm in the same situation. There are not many people in our Bulgarian village, as my friends left. Still, remote village life isn't for me. Strangely, when I was a teenager, I seemed to enjoy remoteness more. I remember coming to my aunt's dacha that was in another beautiful but a remote place when I was 15 and staying there for several weeks without any communication. Once I went out with local kids who treated me with homemade bus and that was enough for me but prefer to stay away from them further not because I had a hangover on the next day, but because I had nothing to discuss with them. At that stage of my life I started reading Castaneda and learning how to meditate. I was perfectly content doing my stuff on my own, riding bike in the fields, reading, cooking food and helping out my aunt in her vegetable garden. The best time for me now is the time spent with my family. I love to watch my daughter growing and slowly changing every day. I really appreciate that we spend so much time together with my husband. Not all families have this privilege. And let's be honest, not all families would like to have one. However, I'm aimed at making new interesting contacts and expanding my friends' circle wherever we finally settle down.
Bay Beach. It's the first time in my life that I experience such high and low tides when water comes and goes for several hundred meters, and it happens every day. There's a tide schedule online and it's a good idea to check it out before I walk at the beach, otherwise you're risking to get cut off on the way back. North Yorkshire coastline is also known as the Dinosaur Coast. So whether you're a beginner or an experienced fossil hunter, there is plenty to explore. I'm not a fossil hunter, but I read there are even organized trips to look for some ammonites or stuff. One day we went to the beach to grill some sausages, just like Pete did he was a boy. I must admit, sausages in Britain are very good. Look at the center now. It's glowing. Orange. Yeah, yeah. Look at the way the wind hits it. It's Best ones, Daddy or Mummy? Mummy. Mummy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I do. <laughs> you know what you eat? Yep. Good. Mind your hand then. Don't <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm on my way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm on my way. Yeah, yeah. I'm on my way. 